So wait, let me get this straight. So you're on vacation. Your buddy offers you to take you for a steak dinner, and you say, "Nah, man, I'm good. I think I'm gonna have a juice tonight." <laughs> yeah, you don't know what he's been eating I mean, a few days before. Here, let me let Come me kind of bow down, down to you. Right I, I mean, it's my last good. day of vacation. I don't care. I'm not getting a juice. I'm going for the filet mignon. <laughs> Welcome to the Inside View. My name is Jason Underberg, and today I finally have the pleasure of sitting next to my co-host, my partner in crime, my cousin, my business partner, Mr. Brian Kovner is finally on the show it's good with to me be today. Here. This is not an optical illusion, right? We are actually we are actually here. There's no there's no Zoom calls. There's this is it, man. This is socially distancing for. Long, long time. Yeah. It's, this is so nice to actually be here sitting in our studio, which we finally completed. Um, it was three months in the in the works. That's right. Red Bank Design Center was extremely uh, incredible during this project. We we had partnered and collaborated with the Red Bank Design Center, um, Amy Manor and her team, and they have just done wonders in this space. I don't know how much... You know, those at home can see, but we'll be leaking other other pieces. But just this wall behind us, I mean, days of, of hand-painted art on this wall. There's a lot of symbolism in there and, and personal meanings to us. Yeah, a lot of positive energy and good vibes. I'm it's sure over time we'll share some of the insights here. And we hopefully we'll have the artists here one day. I'd love to kind of get, because some things I'm unclear as to the direction. But yeah. yeah, it's, it's a, the beauty of art. It's it's amazing. It's absolutely beautiful to be here. We're so excited. It's our it's our our first real show together. It is. So, and we got a big show. Um, Talk we have a first guest. Wow, yeah, incredible first guest. Yeah. I I literally I, I full transparency. I couldn't really sleep last night. I I was like a little kid in my first day of school. I was nothing like, to do with the newborn at home. N- right? Well, no, actually, uh. somehow she slept like a baby last night. It was more my anxiousness about our guest today. I'm with you. Which, as a huge Giants fan uh, and just overall football fanatic, we have got David Tyree on the show who made the most amazing catch in Super Bowl history. Yeah, he changed the course of NFL history, perhaps. Had he not made that catch? Without a doubt. Special teams player who comes out and makes a game-winning catch uh, in 2008 at the Super Bowl. So we'll revisit that catch. We will moment. revisit that catch. Which is surreal. But he's actually here. He's sitting right outside waiting yeah. for us at the, he's outside the studio. For us. Which is uh which is super cool. So we're 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 totally pumped about this first episode. And um I think we should do a little cheers. I think before that, yeah, I mean what is this actually? We've had this on our desk now for So actually this an episode so. Yeah, it, it's getting a little clear, but um this episode is actually sponsored by Camu, which is a cognac um 1863 fifth generation um they have one of the largest distilleries um they produce a hundred percent vsop and single crew borderese cognac and this stuff um you know i mean it's incredibly smooth and i haven't been a cognac drinker i haven't been really much of a drinker at all i was never a cognac drinker yeah. and until i think uh, dan who became a friend of ours uh, introduced us to this brand Mm-mm. back seven years ago, probably eight years ago, when we first threw our first party for View Magazine, and it was served, and ever since then, it's been kind of a staple. Oh, yeah, and he finds a creative way to introduce this into every type of drink possible. Yeah. But what we're doing here, you can see, it's just on on ice. It's, it's just, just on, on ice, and it's it's good enough to drink on the rock. So without further ado, I think uh, this first show deserves a toast. Yeah, it's been so, uh, my nose the whole time. Let's get it in the mouth. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers to that. <sighs> wow. That's good. This is good stuff. Yeah, that's good. So um, save a little for later. Football season is uh, is a real thing now. It's official, it it right? looks like we're actually we're going to have a football season. Uh, training starts, or I think, it, or did it start already? Um, it may just be starting, I think, this week. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to see what the Giants can do this year. What's your take? You feel I, like this is the year for the Giants? I don't, I, I don't see them going into playoffs. I think, they'll do, I think they'll do better than they did last year. I think it'll be a, a more enjoyable season to watch versus just, you know, a painful season. 
Um, I think if we can stay injury free, I'm very optimistic. About well, that's the, the thing. If we yeah. can stay injury free, and you know, it's be a good year for and the Saquon can come back, and and Daniel Jones, Daniel can Jones can come back and do, come back and do, do it. Yeah. I think we have a solid foundation. We just have to, uh, you know, we just got to hope for the best. Look, I'm just glad we're getting back to normalcy. I just saw that they officially announced we can start eating inside of a restaurant soon and mm-hmm. go inside of casinos. I can cut my hair, which has been almost six months. Uh, your hair looks great, by the way. Well, I mean, it's a hat. If I took no, the hat off, it would bust through the window. But I, I had glass everywhere <laughs> in, the, in the room. But I actually really, I, I really like this whole thing going on here. All this extra, you know. Unintentional. I just don't have fluff. a hat big enough to cover every <laughs> particle of you hair. You should have wore a fedora hat, maybe. Maybe next week. Yeah. Tune in to see what I'll be wearing. <laughs> or if I'll get a haircut. <laughs> So I think we've kept David waiting long enough. Yeah, I think it's probably um, time. Here. I'm excited to have him. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, introduce David Tyree. Come on in, David. Oh, super excited, man. How you doing? What's going on, man? Excellent, brother. Looking good. And a place to be. A little casual. Grab a seat, man. It's so <laughs> comfortable. Casual. Man. So casual. Man. How you doing, man? Man, man. Life is moving a thousand miles an hour, but I'm doing great, man. That's good. You, know, you look good. Smile. I like the style you got. Yeah. I like the, the, the fade. Yeah, fanny pack, right you know? <laughs> you know? Like I said, a lot of children. They give me a nice little fanny pack, so I'm all the way in on the Spider-Man fanny pack situation. I like You actually have a lot of You have seven children. I do. So, Tell me about that, because I can't take care of seven planets. <laughs> I just had my first daughter, and it's a lot. So yeah. I can only imagine what seven is like. Yeah, people always ask me, do I have a television? I, I say, yeah, I do, but I got a hotter wife, you know? So I, <laughs> no, but honestly, um, we, you know, we just, been, me and my wife, we, we've been married 15 years, all one accord, wow. got a great, great, you know, great relationship. And um, we had four kids, when we had the twins right after the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. got a pause, that, that rocks the world a little bit, but... We realized this this was one of the best blessings that we were gonna have, so we just kept going. Very nice. Seven so broke you, my back. Do, <laughs> do you ever forget their names? Honest question. Honestly, I mean, when I, they were young, when they were all little. No, I call them out of name. That's that's the common <laughs> that's the common thing. So it's like, just I, David, stop. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. <laughs> you see, get over here. You know, so that's more the common thing. But I, I, obviously, I know all their names. I have identical twin girls. So that can get a little, you know, that can get a little saucy. I'm always looking for a mark or something yeah, like, yeah. but uh, but they're, not, they're, they're good. We're That's good. beautiful, man. Yeah. That really is be- I can only imagine having seven children. Man. Bro, it's, it's, just- it's work. It's, it's, it's work, but it's worth it. You know, like, and, it's, and I tell people all the time, you might have your, your first child. It's the biggest shocker in, in the world when you get, so one is hard, two is hard. Yeah. But, you know, once you hit four, you're in the game. Like, it's it's kind of like zone defense. We got to figure this out. I like that. And, 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 you know, as long as you got a committed partner, you're in good shape. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, no doubt. So aside from uh, your most recent venture, which we'll get into, yeah. over the last several years um, after your amazing career with the Giants, what have you been doing to keep busy? Oh, man, I guess you say a lot, right? So every, you know, honestly, like athlete development has been the space that I've been in for the last eight years. And we were talking about navigating transition. So every athlete has to navigate the transition mm-hmm. from being a professional athlete to becoming a quote unquote civilian, right? Like like you were never a civilian. But, um, but yeah, I think that can be really challenging. For me, it was fairly smooth because of I had a good support system from faith to family and then um, just good relationships. And Troy Vincent was the one who opened the door for me to work work in player development, uh, player engagement now, as we call it, in the National Football League. So I've had the joy of working amongst my peers and, and just helping players navigate that transition spectrum because there's never a time when you're really not transitioning. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's, it's just about the evolution of people and ultimately athletes in, in that space. It's adjusting your schedule, right? Because you go from having a yeah. very systematic routine to there all you go. What are we doing to fill up our time? Yeah, yeah. man. You know, like, honestly, I, for, so for the first two years after my, my advisor, he offered me an opportunity just to see if I liked the space, you know, working in the, in the financial industry. And, I, 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 you know, it was that open architecture, feel your, make your own calendar, eat what yeah. you kill, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, if you're a business owner, you, you, you got to go get it. And that was the exact opposite of what I had lived. I, I walked in and every minute was spelled out for me as an athlete. That's just, so that's a, you know, that's one end of the spectrum to the other. So you're like, hey man, so unless you have a really great direction, and of course some professionals do, you don't know what the heck to do. You're used to being told what to do, which is not a bad thing. It's just that, you know, the initiative has to be there. There has to be some vision, some some insight to really, you know, be successful moving forward. Yeah. yeah. So is it true that, that, there's a rumor that your family doesn't wa- did not watch your football games. 
Is that is that real? No, that's actually, for the most part, it's pretty real. I would say my <laughs> children really didn't watch the game. So my children weren't, like, you know, I was just always dad. And um, I was never dad. To, like, eventually they might, you know, do a family day at the Giants. They were all, always a great organization. But it never fully registered. And when I made the helmet catch um, in 2008, my son goes to school and he's like, you know, he was still in school at that time. That was his last year before we homeschooled. He's like a rock star. Oh my God. You know? I can only imagine. <laughs> yeah, that's my dad. Yeah, really? yeah, that was my dad. But he didn't even really get it. Yeah. He was like, like, all these people keep coming up to me talking about this catch. And I'm like, he didn't understand well, the magic <laughs> what you did. No, he, he totally didn't get it because he's never been, you know, his gifts are his, his brain. And he's definitely physically gifted, but he's never been, you know, aggressively in sports like yep, that. Yep. So it was fun. It's, it, it, you know, my wife, she can get down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she can oh, get yeah. down. I'm sure. No doubt. So February 3rd, February 3rd. Super Bowl yeah. 2008, did they watch that game? So the, the, the boys, so obviously my, my wife... My mom, like most of the, and this is a regret of mine as far as, you know, Super Bowl day. The, the, the boys, they were little, and we kept them at the, at the babysitter at the hotel. My, one of my biggest life regrets. Because here we are, you know, embracing it, confetti's flowing. I had the biggest game moment experience of my life. Yeah, in history. And, and, yeah, in, in history, yeah. right? And my, and, my, and my little kiddos were. So I had my wife, I had, you know, I had some really important people there to share it with. But my little my little stankers weren't there, man. So um, that's a little regret, you know. I think you know, like when you're a young parent, like we were, we had my oldest in college. You're always looking for every little getaway, every little aid of help, every you know, every babysitter. Every I touch. know what you mean. Oh, come on! I eh? just have one. <laughs> Trust me, we need them. You need them with one. <laughs> a little terrorist. I call them terrorists. That's yeah. it. Terrorists. <laughs> I don't so, know if my wife would like if I called them terrorists. But, so she'll she'll learn. Have seven, another one. She'll learn. Yeah, yeah, I think you're probably. But right. did you feel like you were really gonna? win that game. I, mean, I remember I was watching, and I mean, obviously the Patriots were just joking. They didn't lose a game at all that season. It was and crazy. You guys were down Yeah. at the time of the catch. I mean, did you still feel, did you have that belief still? No, before you answer that, why don't we watch the clip Ooh. and then let them answer that. Think look, about that. Think about, about, think about, yeah, think about, think about that. On this. I'm always think down about that it. question. Yeah, I like that. Enough. We're going to go ahead and watch the clip. Samuel came close to a game-ending interception. Well, that's about as demonstrative as you're going to see Eli Manning. Pressure from Thomas off the edge. Eli Manning stays on his feet. Oh, airs it out down the I field. Mean, it is yards five yards. She pretty pretty right there. She looking good. What? <laughs> okay. TC, I see you, baby. All right, now, now you now you gotta answer Brian's question. And, and I'm so curious, like, how does that that just gotta feel? Yeah, man. I think. I really felt like um, we were prepared in the sense that, you know, we got a taste of it last game of the re regular season. Sure. And so we tasted blood, you know, mm -hmm. like we felt like we could beat them then. And I think with our journey to the, to the Super Bowl, to the game itself, we knew we could beat them. So it wasn't an issue of whether we could beat them, we got to go beat them. You know, and we were right there knocking on the doorstep that last game and they earned that win. Like that team was exactly, you know, they were, they were, they deserved every win. And, um, but we tasted blood in the water and, you know, we felt like we had a date with destiny and I was, I was happy to, you know, write my check and do my part. It's amazing. Play, to play spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that would have no been, doubt. it would have been maybe the greatest team ever in one season, Absolutely. right? To could win it, the could, Super Bowl. You can Absolutely. argue it. And I'm sure I'm, I'm, I, I, don't, you know, I don't got cable. I got too many kids. So I don't watch too much TV. But um, I know there was some kind of countdown about the greatest teams ever. And they're oh, still yeah. on. They're still it's top still, 10. It's still on top yeah, 10. Yeah. yeah it's, it's it was an epic. Epic year for yeah. that team. And it's crazy, too, because you were primarily a special teams player. No doubt. And then, you know, they put you in the fourth quarter in, like, a do-or-die moment, mm -hmm. and you're, like, a hero. You've got to always <laughs> be ready. That's the key. Always be ready. You it's, never know. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's incredible. Yeah, I mean, you're like, that was my narrative. Number. But, you know, the, the, the touchdown, that was, that was in the game plan. Of course, the catch. You, you can't script stuff like that. No, you can't. So, Dave, you grew up in Montclair. No doubt. Dirty and Jersey. Jersey boy. I like that. That's his county. And uh, actually graduated from the same high or from the same class year as, as you and Brian, 1998. Just pretty yeah. awesome. Montclair. Big 40 this year. Yeah, uh, full row, babe. <laughs> so, so being that your next venture, uh, mm -hmm. Clean Juice, which you're going to tell us all about, you opened it up in Morristown. Mm -hmm. Is that just like a nostalgic place because it's back home-ish? Or was that just an opportunity that you saw from a business perspective? 
Tell us a little bit about why you're back home. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of both. You know, I'm kind of looking at this as the second act, right? 40 years, you know, I tell, it's a little biblically significant to 40 years and all that other stuff, but it's a trial period. And I'm in my second act at 40 and um, kind of coming a little bit out of the athlete development space, not, not full time, but just coming out of it and coming into some entrepreneurial. So me, Jersey means so much to me. It's my fabric. Anybody who's a Jersey guy, we got a certain grit about us. Montclair, we looked at Montclair, of course. And, um, but Morristown, my grandfather lived in Morristown, and the growth of it, the opportunity there, it, it was just a perfect fit for us. That's great. So tell us about Clean Juice. Yeah, Clean Juice, you know, honestly, you know, it's a, it's a great, not just a juice bar concept, it's really a full organic lifestyle brand, right? So um, me and my wife started the year on a cleanse last year, you know, just trying to do the right thing, kickstart the body, and, you know, plan on living a long time, got a lot of kids, expecting yeah. grandkids. So when you say on a cleanse, Nothing but juice? Or? Yeah, so it was 15 days, first five days, oh you wean God. off food. Can't do that. Last 10 days, purely juice. You have to have juice. your body ready before you start there, right? Like no, to, yeah, so the first five days kind of leans you into it. You know, uh -huh. you start, you know, by the last day, you're kind of doing soup or something and a salad and boom, then you're right into 10 days. Were you starving juice. all day or you felt pretty good? I'm, I'm actually pretty good with this stuff. It's something like, you know, like, you know, whether it's fasting or cleansing, that's kind of like a part of my lifestyle. So it's not the biggest shock to me anymore. Yeah. You know, first time you do it, it's a beast, you know. I remember when I tried to do it and I think I did it for the day and I think by three o'clock I had a bacon, egg and cheese. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's Maybe the you weren't doing it right. Yeah. It didn't, it didn't go it was the well. toxin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I just need food. I, I can't, I can't do it. So Maybe I'm, sure, I'm, right? not, I'm not a very big guy so I think you have to keep food away from me and it becomes a real problem. Like, no, I don't have a lot of reserves. No, no definitely. We call it hangry. You know, folks yeah. start getting hangry right here. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so that was it. We ran into, you know, I was uh, on the last day or two down in, in the Charlotte area and, but, you know, I didn't want to, you know, usually we go straight and get a steak with my buddy. And uh, I said, man, I'm, let me finish this out right. He takes me to this place called Clean Juice. And conceptually, value, from a value standpoint, couldn't, I hadn't seen anything like it. It was, uh, you know, it was everything from, you know, the bowl. They got the acai bowl, salads, juice, smoothies, 100% USDA certified. So they're high standards. They go through the checks. And, I, you know, it's all about offering people the highest quality. And that's, that's really that's what great. I felt they represented. So, wait, let me get this straight. So, you're on vacation. Your buddy offers you to take you for a steak dinner. And you say, nah, man, I'm good. I think I'm going to have a juice tonight. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what he's been eating I mean, days before. Here, let me, let me on, go ahead and bow down, down to you. Right. Vacation. I, I mean, it's my last good. day of vacation. I don't care. I'm not getting a juice. I'm going for the full eight million. <laughs> All right, good point, good point. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, every other time I literally go for the, for the, for the, for the I'm ribeye guy, so I'm going for the ribeye. Yeah. So, um, That's willpower. But yeah, yeah, I, I wanted to willpower. finish, I think I only had one or two days left, so I wanted to finish it out, and he did me the service by, you know, by taking me over to this spot, and it was all that. Very cool. Otherwise, you would have started a steakhouse. In there. Definitely, definitely, definitely. <laughs> you know, especially with a name like The Catch, right? We got to figure this out. I got, I got more or things. Or fish, seafood. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, yeah, no we'll question. So, opens next week. Yes, grand opening is next week. Which is um, exciting. It is super exciting. Like I said, for me, it's almost like a coming out, you know, almost like a re-coming out party for me. I've been in the trenches raising my family. Wow. Uh, we're a homeschool crew, so that takes extra work. Wow. My wife is maybe the first fully upgraded set of artificial intelligence out there. She's like a cyborg. She, she's <laughs> amazing. Imagine, she's going to run the store as well. So, um, wow. You know, we'll give presents and, um, you know, like I said, I'm going to stay grind and make sure. But we're excited about Maybe it. You should put awesome. the seven kids to work. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you could have, like, I'm sure some of them are going to have be a nice doing little squad over there. Y'all on to something. Y'all yeah. on to something. Yeah, on to something. yeah, yeah they, need, they need to learn. They need to learn how to, you know, it's, it's great to be in a position to provide for your family, create a good, you know, middle class experience. But, they, they, you know, that, that kind of cuts into the work ethic. So they, they, they definitely yeah, learn to value work. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I don't learn. know. My little girl's going to work when she's seven. So, there you go. There you go. That's the smartest thing. Thing. So we're gonna play a, a little game. Okay. I want to I want to make a juice today. All right. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna actually make a juice right here uh, on on set. I love We've it. We've actually what Brian and I have done is we went out and we took a look at the website and we went and ordered uh, all the ingredients. Nice. We had them all. Sent over here to our studio. Nice. So we've got them all ready with the blender ready to go. But we're gonna spice it up a little bit. Okay. We can't just you know we can't just give you the ingredients and put them in there. All right, all so right. we're going to kind of create our own juice. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to roll some dice yep. and they're going to have some random ingredients on them. And whatever they ran, land on is what we're going to go ahead and put in the juice. But here's the catch. No pun intended. <laughs> yeah. Here's the catch. <laughs> we're going to reenact the helmet catch. 
Okay. We're gonna do it mini style. So what we've got here, Brian, why don't you grab that helmet right there? Let's see what we got here. All right, so we got a we a got a bit smaller. Than we got a mini Giants helmet right okay. here. Okay. All right, and then we've got throw over one of those footballs for me. Okay. Oh. One more. Make sure it's David. I got. I'm, I'm catching yeah, with my left hand. Oh. Yeah. All right. All right. On the left. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna catch these mini footballs into the helmet. Boom. For every football that you catch, we're gonna throw another ingredient into the juice. Boom. But I need okay. you to catch at least six. Woo! Otherwise, it's gonna be a boring. So, th so this is the official David Tyree and View Magazine reenactment of the helmet catch. I you like ready? This. I'm ready, bro. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Here we go. I gotta get my heels in the ground. All right, here we go. All let's right. get the first one. Oh, there we go. Right. No problem. Oh. oh. Then you get harder as you, oh, as you get the ball. Golly. There we go. There we go. There we go. Four. Five. I need it all. Keep it going. I need it all, bro. Six. Oh. One more. I need it all, oh, baby. Come on. Six. Oh, my God. Six. Woo. I got six. All right. Perfect. That's perfect. Five. All right. We got six no ingredients going into this juice. Can't believe I let all those right. four go. Come on, baby. <laughs> What we got? We're going to trade you in for this helmet. All right, here we go. And since there's two ingredients on each of these dice. So we're going to roll them three times? Yeah, roll them at the same time. Try to not... We're going to have you... Oh, I see what we got. Brian and I, uh, Brian and I are going to sit down right. back over here so we can watch. We're going to roll them right here. This one right here already uh, etched it's off. Right. Well, Y'all yeah. got it? Why is there a blank one on there? Well, because when, when you... When you touch it. it. Yeah, oh. but... Right. Dry race. So go ahead and throw them on, on the uh It's on me on right here? right here. All right, what's the first one? We, we got, got strawberries. We got strawberries lemon. and lemon. We also right, so there's two start. ingredients down. That's a good start. It's I like strawberries start. and lemon. That's All right, good. let's roll it again. We're going to make it as you're throwing it. All right, boom, boom, boom. We All got right. coconut. Nope. Yeah, coconut. Yep, coconut and honey. Ooh, we're getting, we're getting All right, saucy so we got strawberry, it. lemon, coconut, and honey. We're getting, we're getting saucy with it. And we're going to add one more? two more ingredients to this juice right here. Let's see what we can get. We got pineapple, and we got to redo on lemon, so we're going to roll that one again. So we got pineapple. Let's see, gonna be, yeah, too much Let's see what we can get. Apple. apple. Good apple. mouth. All right, so what do we got? We got some apple, some pineapple, pineapple. some strawberry, some coconut. Honey. Some honey. Lemon. Some lemon. And we're going to use, a, we're gonna use a, um, an almond milk okay, as I a like, base. Okay, I like style. That's, that's, you know, we're going to go yeah, in. That's, that's what we use at Clean Juice. We need a little bit of green. You don't think a little bit Ooh. of green? You want to throw some green in there just because? I mean, we let's, got some let's, kale, let's we got some do that. Let's, let's, let's get one of the fruits. Yeah. Well, why don't we put a little bit of kale? How about we throw a little, a little kale? Just throw a little bit power. Yeah. Get a little bonus? Yeah. Let's, let's throw some kale. Let's, we let's got a nice some. bushel of <laughs> nice bushel of organic kale. I think we should. Let's you know, throw a little kale in there. Buy six, get one free, baby. This is our lunch today. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This, this is pretty much what we're going to eat. Yeah. 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 Too bad you don't have control over the menu because if it was good, we could just, you know, we can call working, it the view juice. I'm working my way there, baby. I'm working my way I like there. That. You can go ahead and plug that Oh, yeah, that we need to see up. this. And go ahead and plug that in. We got the ninja here today. We're not messing around. All right, let's see. Oh, it's getting real out here in these streets. This reminds me of that Saturday Night sketch, don't you remember? Although the guy chopped his finger off. I don't oh, know. No. <laughs> he was using the ninja. <laughs> careful, right? This is live, folks. This live. is dope. I should do it. We're gonna need a little bit more ice, I think, in there. Look, like, oh, man, got a, got a smoothie game down. Let's get another couple. Get a smoothie game down, I'm a man. Smoothie guy. See, that's what I'm talking about. I make smoothies. So we'll get almost, you up. We'll get you up here, man. I make smoothies almost every day. Y'all, yeah. y'all come, y'all come up to Morristown for you know first smoothie on me, bro. We appreciate that. All right. We'll make sure. All right, here we go. Let's hope this thing doesn't explode. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh, it's beautiful. the ninja man this thing is I'm 
You're sounding good there. Right, you're sounding good. I'm not going to lie. If it's not good, I'm just going to tell you. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> we can't put my name on it if it's I'm not gonna good. I'm going to be like, mmm. <laughs> I mean, we didn't use every ingredient. So I think it'll be a good mix. We'll let's find out. It looks good. Consistency is nice pretty consistency. decent. I like the consistency. Yeah. Let's see where we are here. All right. I'm waiting for me. Wait. Okay. All right. Yeah. I think this will work. All right, cheers to success at, Gle at Green Juice. Cheers. Clean juice. Clean juice. Clean juice, brother. Clean juice it is. My guy. Clean juice. Cheers, brothers. It's not bad. Okay, not bad. Not bad. It's not your favorite. What are we missing? What are we missing here? Because remember, you didn't land on I might have doubled up on a swirl of honey or something. I don't even know. I don't think we're missing anything. We have a lot of honey. Maybe a little sweeter? A little more honey? A little sweeter. I agree. But I'm cool with this. I can, I, I can go hardcore. I can go green as this green can, can go to oh, yeah, I can do sweet as sweet. Yeah. I don't, this is good. I ain't afraid. I mean, it's, not, it's not terrible. Mm -mm. You know? Nice job, ladies. No, we, I, we Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Dave, did, anything mm -hmm. else you want to let everybody know about, about your venture, about anything we might have missed, but... You know, no, man, just be, be on the lookout. You know, like I said, I, I'm looking at this. You know, 2020 has been a crazy year for everybody. Um, you know, certainly another, another year of evolution, right? I'm looking at the evolution of who I am, be on the lookout for all the Giants fans, Giant Nation. Um, the helmet catch and everything is, is, is about to come alive. We're going we're gonna to celebrate the fans, the community, and what that moment meant to everybody. So, that. you know, f so for on behalf of the Tyree Nation, just, just look for great things coming out in here in 2020, 2021. Love it. Thank you, you know for that? sharing your story yeah. with us. It, it was an absolute pleasure having you on the show. Appreciate you. That's all the time we have today. Until the next episode, don't forget, it's all about the view. Have a good night, everyone.